हेलो सर हेलो Hello, Kalpach. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, I was waiting in the wrong meeting, sir. Yeah. This one also started a bit late. Okay, no problem. Sir, I I couldn't figure it out, sir. I tried to do something else, but I I couldn't get it. No problem. You can see the screen. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Wait, Nitish didn't join yet. Hmm. And Tarun. Tarun. You will be happy today. We are doing histograms. Oh. You didn't pick up my call also. Sir, uh, oh. can we use our uh, school graph book to like do our gra learning room gra graphs or like what note should, should we use? Hey, Kongwell, don't use nine standard graphs. I use eight standard graphs. Oh, I don't have it. I think I'll check. Sir. I think I used all of them. You you have hard copies of the graph? Uh, the school gave us some, sir. Uh, my last year's uh, graph uh, book is over. Okay. So okay. like, uh, shall I use this year's one or? And graphs are graphs. All of them are same. Maybe. I have to use the sheet now, so like. As you wish. But like, should I buy it from the shop or something? Do you have any spare pages? Uh, I may, sir. I, I don't have from last year's. But this year's one, I don't know if, if I can use it. Okay. Maybe then you need to buy. They gave us few extra graph sheets. It's not extra it's sheets. Was... That's for physics. Oh, that's for physics. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they were extra. Okay. So anyways. Okay, we are doing histograms anyway, so we'll do it in our uh, class book, uh, our school one itself, because everything is histograms, right? They won't know, sir, if you didn't learn it. I'll do it in the back. I'll just do it. I practiced in the home. Gotcha. So basically, only I think, as I understand, you will be asked to draw a histogram, right? Sir, till now we learned only that, sir. But I don't know what we learned yet. Okay. So let's see. So number one. So 
so histograms so you will be seeing it like this draw a histogram uh, have they also told you about frequency polygon no sir so what frequency polygon no right no no sir no sir okay. uh, following date so there will be a box okay. and this has the date uh, question and then there will be partitions of that so somewhere you will see some name 1 and some name 2 okay this will vary for example name 1 could be age and uh, name 2 could be number of students name 1 can be height name 2 can be students like that so these may vary the first row will look like uh, some a to b so it's not minus okay it is a to b and then it will look like c to d then e to f g to h and i to j understandable but, but our teacher taught it like uh, if a is 1 and b is 10 it will uh, the in the next uh, next one it will be uh, 10 to 20 and in the third one it will be 20 to 30 so it will be like a to b b to c c to d uh did i say something wrong i am saying that uh, of course uh, i cannot uh, say all things at once you know we have to start at some place then during the course we come over things i also know that b has to be c d has to be e but uh, point is uh, will you listen <laughs> yes sir so let's wait for it don't worry okay so these yes, will sir. be basically class intervals so nitish will join now i just called him what why is he late <clears throat> sir he didn't know that it was in 5 o'clock apparently whenever it's 5 o'clock i just forget i know problem so these will be some other numbers Okay. So there are uh, uh, basic structure of the question of histogram will look like this. Names will change A B C D E F G H I J all of these will change, and the second row will change. So generally, what happens? There are two cases. Okay. So case is that. number 1 b is equal to c d is equal to e f is equal to g h is equal to i this is first case and case 2 is when they are not same so b is not same as c d is not same as e f is not same as g h is not same as i good evening sir good evening sir i'm sorry sir i, I didn't know it was at 4 or 5 o'clock sir no problem where is karan uh he won't come today sir he won't come he said he, he went out okay like he went out okay okay 
So this is how the structure of any histogram question will look like. Yes, yes. Sir. So, so one second, sir. I'll just copy it. Though. You don't have to copy this stuff. Mm -hmm. So See, you know, learning room, learning room people don't send the study material. They do send. It's just that you don't check. Yeah. I, I got one yesterday also. Yeah, yesterday they sent. I, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know why they're not sending it to me. Yeah. What have you got? I, I'm getting only physics and chemistry. I'm not even, I'm getting only chemistry study material nothing else in here uh, getting everything you just so can't simply blame that okay, okay. Like, really i'm not getting so what am i supposed to do in this who oh. what what should i do in this nothing that's not even the question so do you do you understand what is the structure Generally, yeah. it will typically look like one of these. You will be given class intervals and frequencies, and you will be asked to find the histogram of it. The other way in which it will look like, it is of this form. So, That's can you tell you what is the basic difference? What is the basic difference between these two? Sir, I have a Sir, small doubt. So, let's say like it's varying the class intervals. Uh, B and C are not same. Let's say, so will C always be bigger than B? Like one one number bigger than B? Yes. Or yes. can it be more? Okay, only it one number we got. Yeah, it's like we always we we always go in the increasing order. Okay, sir. So ten, then fourteen, then fifteen, then nineteen, like that. That's a standard. So the difference is uh, for the second one, uh, in the start there is more gap than the rest of the ones. So there's a four number gap for the rest of the ones. So you have to draw yeah. kings. Yeah. So few remarks over this. The remarks are as follows. Number one, I call this A, okay, and this as B. In A, class interval is of size 10. Okay, because each of the class intervals differ by a size of 10. So 10 and 20 has a gap of 10. 20 and 30 has a gap of 10. So likewise, all the five class intervals differ by size of 10. Understandable? Yes, sir. Sir, it is okay. always 10. Always 10. Yeah, it's 10. Okay, it's 10. In B, class yeah, interval like is of size four. how much? 4. Four. So 10 and 14 has a size of 4. 15, 19, 4. 20 and 24 has size 4. Likewise, 30 and 34 also has a size of 4. The third remark is the final one, which deals with the frequencies. There need not be any pattern frequencies. There need not be any pattern. They may increase, they may decrease, they may be same, they may be different. That can happen in general. So they may increase first, then they may decrease first. It just depends upon what question you have. But in general, there need not be any pattern. However, in intervals, there will always be 
in the form of increasing size. I mean, increasing. What do you say? The lowest limit and the upper limit, the highest limit. They will all be nicely arranged. Okay. Understandable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's see how to frame the things. Okay, we have this one, which is the first part. So how do we make it? The first X and Y axis. Yeah, so thing is this, that uh, first of all, we always draw X and Y axis. I'm using the red ink, but uh, you are supposed to your, use pencil. Okay. pencil. So <laughs> don't do with the red or a green yes. anything. This is why. Right. Then we look at uh, the number 10. So 10 is here, 20 will be somewhere here, 30 so will be like here. That? What? So shouldn't it be like a gap from first line and second line will be 10 to 20? The, uh, the gap from second. Yes, yeah, that is only for that is only for graphs. He's drawing it like in rough. Yeah, um, so it's not scalable. Okay, it's just approximate. No, sir, I'm not uh, telling like two centimeter or like that, sir. Shouldn't that whole gap be ten to twenty instead of one line being ten, one line being twenty, like that? Sir, which uh, gap? Uh, okay, okay. So see, I get your point. Thing is. That uh, the ten no it represents this gap. Oh, this ten. It's not the vertical line. It is this ten. So when we draw like a like that like a bar, we have to draw by from ten and twenty. Yes, yes. Oh. Or this. So, this but vertical, like, uh, doesn't that mean like if it if let's say ten is. 10 amounts of units from the origin 20 means 20 amount of units from the origin isn't it like of that of course of course of course what we do is just uh, that we mark the point the 10 units you mark <clears throat> from the origin 20 units you mark 30 units you mark like that you will get six marks right yes yeah. we just emphasize those six points and denote them by this vertical dash. Okay. Nothing more than that. Yeah. And what to do? Then uh, we see the frequencies. We see three, five, four, six, two. So you can do one, so, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. So we should, it is a good habit to write. Uh, scale also okay. so yes. what we should do the scale of x axis is but should the scale be drawn outside the graph or inside the graph sir? outside so probably it should be written uh, in a space which where the graph does not touch where you have empty area top of the green part like the graph part. Yes, sir. Most likely it is top right corner. But if you don't have space, mm -hmm. you can even write bottom right or even on the back side. Not on the yes, green sir. part. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one centimeter is one unit. Okay. So what, sir? One centimeter, one unit. Oh. Sir, in, uh, in mm -hmm. actually in our graph, it is. Is sir, actually, our school two uses two units. Wait, one second, one second. Sir, actually, our school uses uh, two centimeter one unit, sir. No problem. It is up to the convenience. No, no, sir. Actually, uh, I know what he's trying to tell. Uh, in like usually they use one millimeter box graphs, right, sir? Yes, but sir. Uh, in our school, we use two millimeter graphs, so we usually take it as two centimeter mm -hmm. because it's the biggest box. 
Hey, you can take it as one centimeter also. You, you can't take it like that. Uh, half the box. Okay, let me let me, small. Small. let me say it in this way. One centimeter, not one millimeter. Don't worry. Yes, sir. Say this is how your graph paper looks like. Okay, so this uh, yellow ones is your boundaries of the bold boundaries of the graph. That's what yes, you see, sir. right? Some dashed yes, boundaries, yes. some bold sir, boundaries. Sir, basically the space between the 10 and the 20 is 2 centimeter, and in between those 2 centimeters, there are 10 millimeter boxes, sir. See, he said 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit, right? that means 10 centimeter, I guess. Dave, what are you speaking, da? What are you speaking? 10 is teach? 1 unit, sir. 10 is 1 unit, and 20 is 1 so unit, like that. Whatever sir. scale you use, this is one centimeter. This is one centimeter. So, so one unit is equal to 10, sir. So one centimeter is equal to 10 units. 10 units, okay. okay. 10 units. This is what I was talking about, sir. I didn't understand. Yeah. Sir, but in our graph, it is two centimeter one unit, sir. Like the space. Hey, hey, you the can take it as how much you want. One millimeter. It depends. Of, uh, of See, Sankar. There are many types of graph papers. So the size of the bold lines on the graph papers is different. Whatever graph paper you have, you check the scale and find the size. Whatever it is, that unit is 10. Okay. It will you be, can I, even use the two. smaller ones. It this doesn't is not matter. Wrong. What this I am yes, having, sir. what I am having is one by one centimeter type of graph where bold lines represented by yellow color has size of one by one centimeter. Okay. This is two yes, centimeter. And so for yes, me, one so for me, x axis one centimeter represents ten unit, and y axis one centimeter represents one unit. So this two is I'm, so this I'm going to represent it as one, two, three, four, five, and I think I'll need one more. Six. Is that fine? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay, so let's. Uh, there is also one thing which I want you to know. When you decide the scale, what should be the scale of x axis, what should be the scale of y axis, that you decide by seeing the data. Okay, so try to make a guess that how it is going to look like and then fit in your scale. Okay. So that will save little time. You can even draw some graphs in the rough sheet. So that is helpful. Okay. So what yes. we do, we look at uh, 10 to 20. It says that there are three. So 10 to 20, we form a rectangle till three units. So this, this, and this. Okay, so this represents the first class interval that says that from 10 to 20, there are three units. Since the rectangle's height is three units, that's why it represents the given information. So 20 to 30 should be what? Five, sir. Five. Five. Very good. So now I'm going to use a different color, but uh, you need to see that it is actually the same color, all of them. So there's no, shape, like uh, there's no red, uh, green, blue, whatever. They all are same. Color. 
20 to 30 should go till 5. Okay. What should be 30 to 40? Six. 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 So why are they so learning thir- histograms? So I thought it was easy, sir. No, but still you have to learn it, right? I, I know. So Ooh, thirty to forty is, is six. I, I, I think it's something. What about forty to fifty? Four. Four, sir. Oh, very good. So today at school, these both guys didn't come, sir. So we learned the what is this? Um, histor- histogram polygon. Uh-huh. Oh, you learned that frequency polygon, eh? uh, yeah, I frequency didn't go polygon. to school today. Sir, sir, these, sir these even, these I didn't come, school, sir. even I didn't come. Even I didn't come, sir. Sir, oh, Sankar didn't school. come. I didn't leave. I went to some. I, went I mean, Kongo went to plunge something. Okay. okay. So, even. so, how many rectangles do you see? Five. 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 Very good. So five, because there are five class intervals. Which class interval has the highest height? 30 to 40. 30 to 40. 30 to 40. 30. Which has the smallest? The 50 to 60. 10 to 20. Oh, sorry. Hey, 50 to 60. <laughs> 50 to 60. Right. Very good. So this is one case. Okay. To look at the other case, which is case B. We, we can now deal draw with patterns, it. like we can draw patterns in the graph itself. Like yeah, in those rectangles. In those yeah, rectangles. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. But, then, uh, but you, you can draw this time on it. Shaded I know, but time on it. If I, if I have extra time in the exam, you know. You won't. Yes, yes. You, won't. Uh, you, you wish you had, you'll see. In math exam, you never have extra time. <laughs> okay, so let's see now. Understandable this much? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Let's see the second case, second which case. is this one. Okay. Okay. Now, here is a different case because class intervals are very much different. So, what to do in this case? See, histograms are a specialized type of graph. Class intervals are different, but they are in a pattern, right, sir? They are in a pattern. The difference being, here 20 and 20 were same. Here 14 and 15 are not same. So, basically, if if I bring in the terminology, in every interval, there is... Upper limit, at an interval, lower limit, and there is lower limit of an interval. For example, can you tell in the first interval what is the upper limit? So, uh, uh, 20? 14. 14. 14. Uh, other one. In the first interval. The upper limit means the upper value, the highest the value. Interval, ah, that's 14. the first question. Yeah. 14. Right, very good. So what about the lower limit of fourth interval? 10. Oh, fourth interval. 25. 20. Right? 5, 25. Fourth one. Oh, fourth one, uh, 25. Yeah, fourth one is 25. So, okay, let's be clear with this. So you know now the upper limit and lower limit. Yes. What we do, uh, we find the, we, we make a table. Okay. So 10 to 14, 14 to 15, sorry, 14, 15 to 19. What is the class size? Can you tell? Class size is always four. Okay, very good. Except the first part. First part also is four. So, so we centimeter. can take one u. So we can take one unit as uh, four cent. Like. Hey, four cent. One centimeter is four units, sir. 
So between each class interval, now listen to this carefully. Between each class interval, how much is the gap? Four. Four. Centimeter. No. I mean, four units. I did not ask the size of the interval. I asked one. that between one. So between yeah. any two successive intervals, how much is the gap? That is one because. The first interval was 10 to 14. Second interval is 15 to 90. So this has a size of 1. This has a gap of 1. Likewise, 15 to 19 and 20 to 24 also has a size of size gap of 1. So every consecutive interval has a gap of size 1. So we find that size gap and half it. Then we do something okay, like this. Now you see, you find the pattern. Okay. You have to tell what am I doing. So you said make it half, but 14 half is not putting. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, nothing. Find the pattern. What am I doing? Sir, you are, Sir, you are in increasing the... 0.5 in the last interval uh, sorry lower. the la highest lower. one and you are decreasing uh, 0.5 in the lowest one very good so i am increasing okay. sir so that we can like equally decrease that one from everything yes 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 so, so that the upper limit so i am increasing the upper limit by half of every interval and decreasing the lower limit by half of every interval. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, remark is what is the benefit? So, so we can do it. Sir, so that the gap between the highest inter highest one in the in the low in the first one will increase mm -hmm. by 0.5, and the lowest one in the second one will decrease by 0.5. So, so it's it the same. So the one it becomes, we just make it into standard format. That's it. So the benefit is I don't know that word. That I don't know that. Upper limit becomes same as lower limit of the next interval. Uh, we bring it back to the standard form. Yeah, right. So if you see, then this is becoming same right this is becoming same this is becoming same this is becoming this is becoming same can you see this yes sir, yes, sir. Right. so what do we why did we do that we did because so in the histogram, all the rectangles should be touching each other. There should be no gap. Okay. So how to plot? We make now a new table. The table in the sense that the class intervals will change. So 10 to 14, which you see here, becomes 9.5 to 14.5. So what should be the frequency? The so frequency one will be two, nine, ten. five, ten, sir. Five. Yeah, five. So one we'll see. Okay. We'll so see. We'll see. Don't worry. Five, sir. So, sir, so the difference between the first class interval to the second class interval, it will always be one, sir. No, it's okay. Yeah. No, not necessarily. In so this so case, it is, it is one. In this sir, case, so it, is it is one. Is. So, if it is, let's say. Two, then you will plus and minus one. One. The half of it. Like eight minus fourteen. Okay. Three. So whatever is the gap, if the gap is three, then you will do the half of it, three by two, that is one point five. So you will increase the upper limit by one point five and decrease the lower limit by one point five. Okay. So, but but the gap is only four. Huh. That will that will 
purely same all the class intervals between them will have same gap so you won't have different gaps in different places that is Except not the start, sir. so we can draw a king and then we'll be yeah so okay understandable to 9.5 so we we'll see we we'll see so 9.5 to 14.5 will give rise to what is the number here 5 right this interval will have 8 this interval will have 12 this interval will have 9, 9. this will have 4 okay so now we draw okay. our graph let's draw okay. the graph oh. the graph will look like Axis. So you so can like take a. Nature. You can find a graph sheet online and just draw on it. Sir. No. Oh. Yeah, that's. Then you can't send us the maps. I think they. No, no problem. No problem. Well, you are smart enough to understand the things. No, sir. It'll be yes. easier for you to draw. <laughs> Shall I try that? Okay. So you can. Like zero zebra. There's lot of. Zebra, zebra. No, no, no. There's there's graph sheets, photo, uh, online. You can just A, copy paste it S4, in this and then draw on it. Online. That's what. That's what I just said, Ra. Okay. You don't even listen to what I say, and then you're like, no, it's wrong. Hey. You, you Ra, I hate it. Okay. Oh my God, there's so many images. Why <laughs> images? You can just take it online, let's just do. What we need images? You can do it online, let's just even even if that means we can't send it to us. Sometime, it. sometime online it lasts us to log in and all that. Geo Zebra, oh, it asks yeah. me to log in there. Zebra, it's a Geo Zebra. The problem is scam. Yeah, first one is showing me Geo Zebra only. Yes, sir, you can use GeoGebra, sir. That's graphing calculator, ah. Uh. Hey, you can still draw lines, right? Three lines. Why is everything? No, da. You, you need you need like equations for the lines to be like that. No, you can draw. It's called a like graph calculator. Yeah, you can't draw lines on it. You can freestyle, da, in that. No. <laughs> You can only okay. like. No I, I asked to... you. I re yes. remember I asked sir once that yes, question sir. if you can like draw freely, and he said no. So this is x. <clears throat> this is y axis. This is x this axis. Is based on the time, sir. No, oh, there's mm -hmm. so many papers online. It's on online, sir. It's we could have finished drawing the graph before now. Stan listening to Pongwell's yeah. idea. Am I audible? Yeah, you are always audible. That's the problem. Today, sir, today we got our 10th ICSC certificate thing, sir. 10th ICSC board exam certificate thing. What is that? What? <laughs> the ICSC board exam, what? Yes. One more year. For that, they will give certificate home. No. The past the tense they will give. No, Raj. You want me to show the paper? Okay, let's see. Got it. So we need to have uh, this 9.5 to 14.5. The gap is still 4. 
no the way no, 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 the gap is not 4 gap is 5 the gap right? is 5 so 5 sir yes. so what you will do you will see that uh, somewhere you have 9.5 okay. so the bold lines this will be like uh, uh, say this is 9 so why so you can just take a 9.5 my god so you can put images in chat i never knew yeah. this is 9.5 this is 14.5 then this is 19.5 19.5 then next is 24.5 and then 24.5 and then uh, 29. no yeah 29.5 and then then 34.5. 34.5. So what's the scale? So five, or you can take one, two, three, four, five. So in x-axis, five centimeter is one unit. What? Yes. So five centimeters equal to five centimeters, sir. So five one centimeter is equal to nine point five units, sir. One centimeter is equal to nine point five units, sir. 1 cm is equal to 9.5 units, sir. The gap is 1 cm, right, sir? 9.5 and 45. Okay. One centimeter is equal to 1 unit. 9.5 units. Really? 9.5 units. units. It's 1. Not one, it's nine point five units. So, I am so first of all, uh, first of all, here we make a mark like this. Sir? It represents it represents that, uh, or you don't mark, no problem. So the first okay. bold line you mark as nine point five, and the second bold line you mark as oh, yeah. fourteen point five. So what is this size? So five. So one what is five this size? Uh, five units. Five. Uh, Everybody five. is five, right? Yes, sir. So, but this is not five. Sir, so in the pre. Nine point five. So to deal with that, what we do? We make this mark. Okay. That tells us that we have sort of shrinked the unnecessary portions. Okay, in that we write one centimeter represents five units. Five centimeters. But right? why can't we start the origin as nine point five, sir? Then we don't have to draw that, right? This is exactly what it is. It's just a way of uh, doing the things. It is exactly what uh, you are saying, shifting the origin. That's all. It should always start at zero, da. What do you mean, nine point five, starting nine point five? So similarly, what about y axis? Y axis. Sir, so eight. in the previous graph, it was one centimeter is equal to ten units, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So maybe one centimeter is equal to two units. The y axis. Okay. So what I about this one? Me. We have five, eight, two twelve, two nine, two. four. So let's two say two this two. time we change and we do it two units. Yeah. So if it's like. So what will this be? This two. becomes two. This becomes four, four six, six eight, ten, ten, and twelve. Fine. So our interval, what calculations we did? The first interval should be having a height five. of five. Five. So five. A little of four and five. Then it means that it should look like between four and six. Yes. Oh, four and six. Sorry, not four or five. Understandable. Yes, sir. The second interval should have a height eight. of eight. So eight should go like this. There's one then thing similarly, the third interval is like 12. So third interval, which is 19.5 to 24.5, will reach a height of 12. Well. Next one is nine, so eight and Next one is eight nine. And eight so and nine is between eight and ten. 
So like everybody is okay? Yes, sir. Then the third one is four, the last one is four. So it's like this. And then if you wish, you can draw shade Hello. or whatever. Yeah. Now comes the interesting part. Frequency falling in. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I got so, disconnected. Okay. So nothing, we just draw the rectangles for the okay, intervals. So since you all have not, I mean, at least Congo and Sankalp has not gone to school, so you don't know what is frequency function. Let me tell you in both the cases. So what happens? Let's see in the first case. You remember this was the triangle. Yeah. Yes. Sure. What is the triangle? I mean, this is the rectangle. This is the histogram. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So what you do, we you you join the you look at the highest bar of the rectangle. For example, oh, you connect all of them with a line, right? No, connect all yeah. the middle points. Of so them mid point. So know, mid points. Mid point. Mid points. Mid points. Mid points. And then. The same the interval is and joined by the midpoint there. So, but for the starting, we didn't even do. Yeah, so uh, it looks like a we'll do it now. We'll do now. It looks like stock. Oh. Yeah. Average yeah, right. graph. Now, in the that case of like, this, that actually looks like a velocity diagram. Like we don't we'll do the same thing. Is there any actual explanation for a frequency polygon? Any other complicated thing for frequency polygon? Is it, is it this easy, sir? I'll tell you what it is. Is it that? Sir? But how do you know that polygon? is? Is there anything? Sir, how do you know that is the midpoint, sir? We have. Is it like approximate midpoint? E, approximate. You have a graph paper, no? So between between every bold line, there is a middle line, right, yes, sir? Like this. Yes, sir. So you see where where it is going to touch. So wherever it is going to intersect, that is your midpoint. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right, I said, is it more complicated? Like this is just throwing us off a little bit. Yeah, frequency polygons. You know, it basically is a different form of knowing what is the increasing moment. Increment. What is the decrement sort of thing? So you so won't we really have to have mark to... zero, right? You have to mark origin rate right? zero, which matters. Yeah, right? So of course, of course. So, so basically, so. frequency polygon is basically a histogram, but with no need of all the x-axis, y-axis markings. Only the scale and the thing. So. No, no, no. After drawing the histogram, you make these lines. That is called frequency polygon. So together with histogram, frequency polygon comes. Okay, there are no separate things. So they are not separate things. They are one thing. Okay. But why do you need to connect these points, sir? Like, what do they tell? Stop. Very good question. So they tell. You see the first line in the same graph. The first line, if you see, this is more vertical than the second line. Is that is it or not? So yes. this portion yes, and this portion, right? So first line is more vertical than the second line segment. That means that although in the second interval there is an increment. But with respect to the first interval, the increment is less. Okay. Oh, like the rate of change. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise, if you see the third line segment, 
the third line segment is approximately same as the second line segment so thus we can say that in the third class interval the increment is almost same as the second class but there's, but there's a difference of 0.5 it's like stocks on a no no see no see this uh, fourth and fifth line segments the fourth line <laughs> segment tells that there is a decrement fifth line segment also tells that there is a decrement but fifth line segment is more decrement than the fourth line segment is it or not yes, yes sir, it, it is, is. the sixth line segment is also a decrement but it is relatively less decrement than the fifth line segment okay that is what what the frequency for polygon tells bad but worse yeah okay yeah how much so so relatively 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 understandable sir yes sir yes sir very good. sir but the first one you uh, you see the first one like uh, from origin to 9.5 mm -hmm. it is actually 9.5 and not 5 right sir so all the middle the middle point of uh, 0 to 9.5 it will be different than 9.5 to 14.5 right sir? so like obviously the first one will always be this steeper than the second so, one right yeah no it's the thing is just like the last yeah, no, line segment is pointed at one more interval size the first line segment is pointed at the midpoint of one less interval size so this middle point is basically between 4.5 to 9.5 okay, not between 0 to 9.5 but 4.5 to 9.5 so it's verbally 9.5 but physically 4.5 it's very simple what is the size here? the size size here is 5 units okay. right Five. so Five. the last class interval keeps the same size for the next one the next midpoint and the first line in first class interval also maintains the same size the same gap for the previous you can call it as zeroth interval Okay, so where you start? You start at the midpoint of zeroth interval and end at one more interval, the midpoint of the one more interval. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So most likely, these two categories are the major categories in the histogram. Higher classes, there will be more cons more cases in them also so that will be dealt accordingly as per those methods if for you as of now these are the only two ways okay yes sir. and the easiest chapter that we all can score <laughs> full marks in that's yeah it. the purpose is yeah, last is five marks that's it yeah, they they'll they'll give us only one graph and they'll give that for five months. Or ten. Maybe optional. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that will also be optional. It's a good thing, da. Hmm. Okay. Any questions? No sir. No sir. No sir. So why? Right. So that's a histogram over. Yeah, that's yeah, it. What is that? Who asked? No, so it, it, asked it's just that. Right it's just that uh, you do different questions that is very important do some three four questions by yourself and then you can say that yeah now i can find it please keep this in the learning room test also sir yeah surely surely yeah. and then there will yes, be like sir. correction mistake and Let's then we can zero go. Yes, sir. They, they, not always they make corrections. So you can give us a question. Sir, like what can draw a graph? Can they make la? But if it's wrong, we put right. <laughs> you give us okay, a question, then. sir. We'll draw a graph. Yes, so sir. we still have six more minutes. Ah, you'll draw a graph, and then what will you do? 
I so don't have so a much mechanism. Much. I don't have a mechanism to verify. No. Video. Video. <laughs> I'll I I trust you that you will do correct solutions. That is there. So sure. Yes. Sir. You can take up some questions from your textbook. Yes, sir. So many. Okay. You can okay, make then. your own questions. Easy. You can make your own questions. It's the important no, it's thing. Like when we make our own questions, they make it easier on purpose for some reason. <laughs> or impossible. I know that happens every time. Either impossible or easier. <laughs> yes. Sir. Okay, then. Yes. All the best. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Bye, you, sir. sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.